hello everyone so welcome to this channel and today in this video session i'll discuss uh, about the out file so uh, using the out file we can store the data uh, that is written from the commands so commands do have the out file support so let's see some of them so first command is gspfd let's say so here I can display the file description information. Let's say for file one, this library, we can we can uh, display such information like a star all, base attribute, attribute, access path information, member list information, uh, and all such information. Let's uh, find the let's say it's the star all information and output type would be out file here. So once I take this option, it will allow us to enter the file to receive output. Let's say ft file in qtemp library so i'm creating this in qtemp for now so you can see that out file with this type is not allowed so it is allowed only with the output star or output print so for such things uh, we need to have the specific information that we want to return let's say uh, i want uh, here you can say record format information. So you can see the output file of the created in library tutor. So just do the run file star m to temp slash ft. We can do the str SQL as well. So you can see all such information. File this library this physical file uh, attributed to the system name record format name is rpf1 so this is the record format information we have format level identifier and other informations that we can see in the dspft information so all such things are now uh, stored in the out file that we just created using this dspft command so that's just an example to show you that this command do support the out file and we can create the out file to store the information that is returned from some of the commands let's say dsp ft information so on the same file in library is let's say output is out file once we take out file we do see these parameters prompted let's say ff P in QTEMP. Now this is the information. So you can see file field description information. So we have three fields in this file and all such information is now available to us in this out file. So the same way we can do run dsp obgd command and there were other commands as well that on which we can uh, do run those commands and get the out file let's say take it pf1 although we can run it on all the objects so let's a star file object uh, let's say basic details i want output is out file i don't want to display it i don't want to print i don't want to display objd and qtemp library so out file this created in qtemp library just so you can see the object description information this is the file type object attribute is pf object size 
and other information like object is damaged or not object is locked or not and you can see all such information available here for that object so the same way we can get the information of all the objects in a particular library using this command spobjd and uh, with the out file support we can get the out file so out file is basically a medium uh, so which we can get the data and store it in the uh, file uh, that's that's basically an out file so that's the concept of an out file that you can run in your cl programs and uh, basically in cl programs and you can uh, get the out files out of it that you can further process in your program based upon the requirement so that's all here thank you and have a nice time